We are Steel Magnolias, two sisters who love family, traditions, and all things Southern. We've got plenty of room at our table, so pull up a chair. Oh, lady, we are starting a little later today because... The church fall festival was this afternoon. That's right. Our, our fall festival, annual fall festival, which included this year's apple pie baking contest. See, so I started to enter, but then you're a much better baker. No qualms about not- it. No, you are. It's good. But I knew you were entering, and I was like, I'm just going to make something festive that's another dessert. So, Which would have won in its category. Yeah, if there it was, was very good. a um, nut bar <laughs> contest, I would have won that one. I posted those on Instagram. Those were delicious, and I will be making those again. Delicious, but when I think nut bar, and I'm not saying this is a good or a bad, I don't think of dessert as much as I think of like health bar. Yes, like trail mix. And actually, category. I thought this looked kind of still like that. It did. But, but it, it had like shortbread. It was a shortbread And it bake. was dessert slash protein yeah glory and it was had that yes. caramel glaze over it anyway we're not going to talk about that your apple pie looked glorious i didn't get a bite cuz i had to leave early so um, well i picked my recipe based on this is just a southern living recipe but okay. you make it in a skillet yes presentation y'all well presentation i think i probably won cuz it was so adorable but the judges actually never saw that like yeah. what they did was cut a piece out of each and then they which took it fair. over to them yeah and then so they never saw they it. kept the judges in isolation <laughs> so oh, and it was intense can i just tell you like i couldn't believe how long it was taking really how many apple pies would you say were, were in the contest cuz we're a small to medium sized church <laughs> i mean under 10 okay you know yeah, m- yeah. maybe 10 pies yeah. I mean, we're not talking about 30 or yeah. anything like that um, and they're like, I looked at them and I saw one had like caramel on the top Yum. and I was like, okay, if I was judging, that's already points sure. with the caramel, caramel on top. Yeah. That one didn't even place though. What? So it's okay. all, you know, what are the judges looking for? You don't Everybody's know. Everybody's palate is different. So it wasn't like best traditional apple pie. It's, I don't it's know what all, best you know, they, were, they were looking, they didn't look at presentation. Right. It was about texture and things like that. Michael Cato was one of the judges, Lisa Browning. I mean, people that know food yeah. were judging. Yeah. And I came home with third place. Third place is still very respectable. <laughs> We are excited that you got third place. And it is kind of funny. The girl that won said that was the first time she'd ever made an apple pie. So Okay, keep that to yourself. (laughs) I was thinking (laughs) beginner's luck. It's true. (laughs) Um, Anyhow, I used a Southern Living recipe, and I will say, I think, when in doubt, just find a recipe in Southern Living, and you're going to have a chance to at least play. Amen. (laughs) not true. I fully agree. Yeah. So whatever the contest, see if Southern Living has a recipe. I like that. (laughs) It's a good little word of advice. Hashtag Um, Southern Living. (laughs) Well, it is um, mid-afternoon, which on this particular weekend means we're about to have to start getting used to it being dark outside. It's going to be dark in like two hours. So we will um, jump into our topic, but I will say just to sort of prepare myself for our topic. <laughs> I watched my first Hallmark movie last night. Which okay. Was Hall- you mean your first Christmas yes. movie of yes. the season? Of the season, right. too. Not ever. Like, I've watched tons over my <laughs> lifetime. Let me, <laughs> let me preface. Yeah, so they started every Saturday up until Christmas. Now they've got a new one. And, you know, of course, new being a newly shot, but same plot, right? <laughs> From the previous one. Which is why these frustrate me. I like, I have so many friends that just love them, and I know they are feel good because there's going to be are. a happy ending. I, I honestly, every time I'm like, I want to work in a candy cane store, <laughs> you know, or I want to be, you know, working part time at some. Did you know there's a drinking game that's kind of floating around? It's like that's bingo. Of your Hallmark movies. Yes. Like, if the city has got Santa Claus. In yes. the name, or if it's got a candy cane shop, or yes. like things like that. Philip and I were going back and forth last <laughs> night. Like, now is he also going to turn into Santa Claus? You know, <laughs> like is he is his mom going to be kind of the antagonist of the story? You know, it's all predictable. But 
There's still usually fun. like a going to shop for the Christmas tree yes. scene, and but yeah. they are trying to hold on to the good of what would be perceived as a Norman a Rockwell love story. Story, and sort a love of Christmas. Story. Yes, yeah, which, yeah, a small Main Street. Yes, you know, some sort of a hiccup in a business. <laughs> you know, right. and just two people but I love falling that. in love. That's yeah. right. So anyway, may we have those stories floating around all the time. That's true. That's what we need. We have. A fun episode because we're doing it early. Early, s. It depends on who you are. I haven't done. I've, I've only bought two gifts so far. But we're talking about <laughs> Southern holiday gift giving. But for the purpose of the fact that these gifts are going to be needed sooner rather than later. Like these, these are great Christmas ideas or host ideas yeah. or, um, bir- or you know, if you've got November birthdays, yeah. December birthdays, like these gifts aren't just specifically Christmas. I mean, some of them might be, but yeah. And I think it's just, yeah, you want to go ahead and start thinking through your budget, thinking through, um, you know, the preparations and not waiting right until the last minute to jump online and buy whatever. Yeah. So, so yay, we got to talk Christmas gifts today. I I know. We're both kind of giddy. I know. Um, I know. I kind of wish I should have made some gingerbread cookies or something, but I knew <laughs> we, we were having... We baked a lot we, today. We a lot. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, I think in no real particular order is my list, so... Well, the, you know me. I divided a little bit, like... I did some. Like, I see your headings for her, for the cook. You're so Yeah, great. just a few things like it. that for anyone. Yeah. Well, and we're trying to give a range of price points, too. Yeah. So, yep. anyway, all that... Go ahead. Kick us off, sis. What do you want to talk about? What's a good Christmas? And these are Southern, too. Like, there's another, a lot of great oh, gifts Oh, I could out give there. you gift ideas for these are 12 southern. episodes, but yeah. these are Southern. Yeah. Um, well, I'm going to start close to home. Okay. Though I, mine are not all close to home, but I'm going to start close to home as in, like, seven miles from where we're sitting. hey Okay. Because this is, like, one of my favorite even places Ooh, to okay. walk in. And okay. that's the David Arms Gallery oh, of Leaper's Fork. Yes. He's amazing. It is a very special place. Yeah. Whether you buy anything or you don't, yeah. it is a special place to walk into the door. That's true. Agree. Um, you can also order online. And that's another thing I wanted to say is everything I included, you can buy online yes. as well. Because I didn't want... Me too. Our listeners in North Carolina to be frustrated because I mentioned something that they can't come by. So, if it's not online, I didn't mention it. Okay. David Arms is a painter. Yes. um, And he has, you know, absolutely stunning original paintings. Yes. Those you would obviously have to come to Franklin to get. Right. He's not... Well, actually, I say that you might be able to he might ship. ship something. Yeah. But you're not going to see everything on sure. the exactly. website. Yeah. But on the website, you could buy um, many things. Not yeah. everything, yeah. but many things. Okay. This is a place that I think is a really great place to buy gifts for men. Uh-huh. Okay. But it's Good not just point. for men. Yeah. But they carry... Um, you know, books, journals, um, prints, not just yeah. paintings, yeah. but prints of, of his artwork. But they also have a lot of things that are like um, just manly lifestyle things is what I, I would call shaving yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. items. Yeah. Um, they have this bottle opener that I love that has like real horns mm-hmm. on it. Just looks like something you would see in like a manly it library. Kind of even or, has manly scents when you walk yes, in. Sometimes and they have some yeah. of those candles. Yeah. And, so it's a good place to go if there's a man you need to buy for and you have no idea yeah. where to start. That's a great idea. Good. Go there. David Arms. Pick out a little something. Cool. But for the women in your life, if they like art, they might like something yeah. from David Arms as well. That's an awesome idea. Love it. I am going to go a little further south in Tennessee to South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. I oh. recommend that you get anything from Lodge. Now, Lodge is yes. carried at multiple different retailers. So I'm saying go south because that's where they are manufactured. But yeah. Lodge, cast iron, skillets. Dutch ovens, the works is that's so good. such a good gift for anyone. So I would say if you're not sure where to start or what to buy, go. With, I would say a Dutch oven because such a great, it's gift. a unique piece, mm-hmm. 
And I think somebody would use it a ton. I or know a 10 inch skillet. Those would be yeah. the top two to yeah. me. Yeah. yeah. Which, by the way, my third place apple pie was cooked in a large. There you go. Uh, 10 inch skillet. So. so that would be a good recommendation for anyone. Yep. Man, woman, yeah. cook or not, it's a good item to have on hand. Yeah, because even if you don't cook often, those are basic enough yes. that you would use it. Anytime some. I read in a recipe in a large saucepan, I'm getting my Dutch oven out. That's mm -hmm. what I'm cooking it in. Mm -hmm. A large saucepan is a Dutch oven to me. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Anyway, that's a good That's way. a great idea. Yeah. Um, and if you're able to actually go in the South Pittsburgh um, location. Ten yes. South Bricks, Pittsburgh, Tennessee. <laughs> it, yes. Yes. It also has just tons of other great stuff. Sauces. Yeah. Kitchen knickknacks. Yes. Yeah. All kinds of great things. Yeah. So if you don't even know who all you're buying for, pop in there and you yeah. can knock out several. Yeah. It's a factory things. outlet. So there's good deals too. Yeah. Yay. Good, good mention. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to jump to one that kind of goes similarly um, with what you just mentioned, since okay. you said that. There's a company in um, Charleston, South Carolina, that also makes cast iron. Okay. That's called Smithy, S-M-I-T-H-Y, Ironware. Yeah. They make a chain mail scrubber oh. that's $20 that's to clean Ooh. cast iron. I really want it. I want one of those. <laughs> right. So, um, it's good for, you know, you don't want to use soap in these cast yeah. iron things, but it can help you do the scrubbing. Cool. So, Love um, it. Smithy Ironware, chain mail scrubber. They actually have great skillets too. Okay. Uh, other cast iron okay. skillets, but I, I wanted to mention this scrubber yeah. cause it's unique. I've never Love seen that. another company make it. So. Love it. Um, we've talked about Yeti coolers on here yeah. before Yeti and Austin company, I believe was Austin. Um, they have a stainless steel um, little rambler, like a 10-ounce wine tumbler. Oh, that's cool. $25 that is a great gift. So Yeti sold also at several different retailers from out outdoorsy sorts of outlets to um, like more boutique kind of spots. So this so. is interesting because it's it, since it's Yeti, that means it keeps it cold or hot. Exactly. So you could even put like a hot cocoa or something You could, in yeah. There, it's even called though a wine the shape tumbler. is a wine yeah, tumbler. But, but yeah. So. That's cool. It's, it's 25 bucks. Love it. That's a great idea. Um, okay. Well, let's see. I don't even know where to go next. I know. Just so many things. Okay. I'm just going to jump on one. There is a company I came across um, called Etta B Pottery. Okay. E T T A, and then the letter B. Letter B Pottery. Okay. It's out of Mississippi. Okay. And I went in a store that was here in Franklin and saw this gorgeous. It looked like a big magnolia, but it was like a serving piece oh. or like a plate. Okay. Kind of a thing, but it was in the shape of a magnolia. Pretty, and it's just—I was so taken by how lovely it was. So I looked the company up. Yeah, and they also make them that look like um, cotton. Oh, cool! And so in a couple of different sizes. Yeah. yeah. So I just thought they were lovely. Yeah. Pieces for yeah. a southern home. Yeah. Kind of a thing. And when I was on their website, again, I'm only mentioning things that are yeah. online. Um. I could not believe how many locations. Pretty much, you can find some retailer yeah. that carries. You can't order directly much from, from them. there. Yeah, but that shows all the retailers, and pretty much every southern state has locations. And Mississippi, where it's come from, is a lot. covered in nice. locations. But okay. even you know, Kentucky, Tennessee, Georgia, the locations all over the place. Yeah. So here in Nashville, it's called Nest Decor. There's yeah. two or three yeah. of those. I've been That's in there. where I saw it. Okay, cool. So Etta B Pottery. How fun. Love that. Well, who doesn't love getting a good night's sleep, right? Ooh, that's a priceless gift right there. <laughs> so I actually came across this next one at um, like a holiday market uh -huh. kind of event here in Nashville. Redland Cotton Sheets. They are out of Alabama. Okay. They are luxury linens, okay. y'all. But they are American made. So the cotton's grown in Alabama. And this family that had this cotton farm wanted to figure out how they could 
actually create some sort of product with what they were used with their cotton farming from their land. And so bed sheets was their conclusion. And they make these, they make both bed sheets, cotton bed sheets and towels. And they are super comfortable. Mm. I've touched them. I haven't slept in them. I don't have a set myself, but like when I saw them at this market, you know, they of course had samples and stuff. They, um, they are luxury. So, Uh I mean, know that going into it but yeah if you would like a um more premium sort of gift for someone in your life they've got sets of all different sizes twin to king and redland cotton sheets you can order directly from them well you know a couple things one is we didn't really talk about this but i think it's cool when you can buy things that are a hundred percent made In the USA. Absolutely. And I'm a very, very small business. So I love supporting like a small business that, you know, this is really touching lives of exactly southerners yes. you know yeah so yeah like at that particular holiday market you know i was speaking with the very family that came up with this concept that's and that's so going to cool. benefit from the sale you know right. like it's, it's real close to home oh speaking of which i will give a side plug for this type of thing speaking of family businesses i meant to mention this early on um mom and i have been producing throw pillows this oh, year yeah. speaking of handmade right yes. here in the south and so we are going to be selling those uh, this coming weekend here in franklin and then two weekends from now also here in franklin at two different markets the mistletoe market and the centennial, centennial holiday. holiday sale and so if you would like a throw pillow. I didn't put that on my list. That seems no. I'm so glad you mentioned it for the locals. But for locals, if you are in the Franklin or Nashville area and would like to come to those sales, please come by and see us. We'll have throw pillows of all different Christmas and um, holiday varieties, and so. they are beautiful. And like. Obviously, it's my family, so I've been watching how much work has gone into said pillows for, since March, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so, um, there again, supporting yeah. local people, even if it's not you guys, if you're buying, you know, right. the candle from the exactly. person that's making it right here in Nashville or yes. in the South somewhere, is a great thing to do. Yes. Um, and everybody's not, you know, everybody's going to know that you've put some thought into it, yeah. too. Yeah. It's not... Just yeah. like you just, you know. I've been in the Christmas spirit all year long. Like when I started sketching out a joy pillow in February, I was like, this is, that is seems so a sweet. little odd. But that's kind of how you have to do when you do retail sorts of It's unbelievable, isn't it? So, like, yeah. I have our friend Jackie that is has a, a store. You know, she's buying the Christmas market or the Christmas stuff for the store so early that sure. I'm like, that's so weird yeah. to think you already know what you're going to have yeah. for Christmas. Anyhow. Yeah. Um, and then one other thing I wanted to say was just about the cotton sheets that you mentioned. Yes. It made me think that can even be a great wedding gift. Exactly. You know, regardless yes. of Christmas. Christmas like Christmas if you get, happen. Well, they do. That's what I that's always very hallmark. Kind of wanted. <laughs> that's always what I kind of wanted. Like, and it'll snow right as we're that's coming right. out of the church. But anyway. I've, not that I've ever thought about that. Uh-huh. Um, but, yeah, things that we mention on here can be gifts yeah. anytime. It exactly. have to be. That's true. We're just throwing it out right now because it's a big gift giving Hanukkah season. and Christmas. It can be yes. anything. Yes. Okay. Next up. Gosh, again, I don't even know where to start. Um, okay. So... I found some... A lot of the things I mentioned are things I would like. That's right. This is actually secretly our way to get our Tell own list out. <laughs> there, I found a seed saver booklet. What? To save your seeds, your an heirloom seeds. I, I love mean, how this cute is so this? much. So it has seed packets that you store in mm-hmm. and mark what they are mm-hmm. and always keep them going. Mm-hmm. I, you know, can tell I'm just over the moon about this. Eighteen ninety five. I like that price point. Nice. And you can find it at shopterrain.com. Okay. S H O P T E R R A I N dot com. Okay. How seed cool. saver. I love it. Um, I don't know if you have any books on your list, but I'm going to, I'm going to do all my books at once real quick here and I'll just plow through them. Um, Garden and Gun has a brand new book out. We're actually going to be I'm so glad you put that on there because I forgot it when I made my list. Yeah. We're going to go look at it this week. 
It's called Southern Women. It's stories of thousands of or hundreds of women that are innovators, pioneers. Can't um, wait to see this book. So yeah, Southern Brand new. So, just came out. Yeah, Southern Women by Garden Gun. Sean Brock has his book that just came out earlier this year called South. Yep. It has a lot of recipes in it. That would be a good one. And then I thought, finally, I would also mention, there's a book called, by Rick Bragg. He's a Garden and Gun writer. Or and Southern Living. And Southern Living. That's true, yeah. Yeah, love him. The Best Cook in the World, Tales from My Mama's Table. I have it. You do? Well, I have it on audio. Okay. I don't have it in hand. Okay. And it's actually one I wish I had in hand instead of audio. Okay. And I'll tell you, do you want me to tell you why? Yeah, so that was my book's It's so good. Okay. He's a fabulous storyteller. Yeah. Okay. The reason I wish I had bought the hard book and not the audible book is because he tells a story that includes a rest, you know, like it includes something from a meal and then here's the recipe. And you're not getting that. And I don't, and I have him reading it. it. So not the right thing for audible in my opinion. Okay. So get a hard copy of Rick. But it is really adorable. Oh good. I'm glad I put it on there. I'm glad you put it on there because I wouldn't have. Um, and I only jotted down cookbooks. I didn't jot down books yeah. books. Yeah, yeah. So I had three, Sean Brock's new one and two old classics. Cause I just thought, yeah, you know, if you have a cook, you might want to even go with an old classic because sometimes true. those are tried and true and the new ones we don't know yet. Yes. Charleston receipts is an yes. old classic that you can get for $20 or less yeah. on Amazon. Okay. And then there's one I don't have, but would like to have called Foxfire book. Book of Appalachian Cookery. Ooh. Foxfire has done like lots of books on Appalachia mm-hmm. on different mm-hmm. subjects. Mm-hmm. And I just thought that might be a good one if you like to yeah. know about Southern food. Yeah. And it's $24. Nice. So, anyway. Love it. Cool. Good. Well, there's a company that is in Tennessee called Jackson Kayaks that I thought I would mention because... That's fun. Yeah. So they're in Sparta, Tennessee, and this is for, like, the fishing connoisseur in your family. Okay. So I don't know if this would be a good addition to a fishing boat or if this could supplement if you have a fisherman in your family that doesn't have a boat but likes to get out and fish okay. but these kayaks were made for fishing that's fascinating i yes. can't imagine fishing from a kayak i can't either but they are so jacksonadventures.com is their site they're really beautifully made right here in tennessee they also do dog kennels but the okay their main product line are these fishing kayaks so oh, fun that could be a really cool gift for somebody for a teenager or anybody yeah really well i'm gonna jump in something similar since you mentioned that i found a company that's called yukon outfitters okay but it's yukon why you like the K-O-N, car. Yeah. dash okay outfitters.com okay you have to have a dash in between it's a Tennessee company that makes those really great hammocks and tree straps. Oh, yeah. You know, that you see all the teenagers yeah. yes. in the park with and um, even, you know, for camping. Yeah. And they also make what they call dry packs. So, if you know, packs for that, don't, that are waterproof um, and other camping gear. So, I was thinking, like, one of those cool hammocks or That's dry packs idea. would be a great gift for a teenager or anybody outdoorsy. Love it. That's a great idea. Awesome. Um, All right. I will say, I'm going to mention a couple that I sort of deviated just for a second. This isn't a Southern company, but these are Southern products that they will personalize for you. That's fair. So Shutterfly, everybody knows them for their photos and personalizing. So you could do a monogrammed toiletry bag. That's a very Southern thing to do, monogramming things. You could do a monogrammed toiletry bag for $30. Or you could do a personalized mason jar for $20. Uh-uh. Yeah. And that would also be. No, both of those cute. are very southern. That's cute. Things to do. So I love that. But I'd mention those. How fun. Okay. I We said we were going to go all price points. And oh, I yeah. haven't done any of my. I haven't done my higher. High premium luxury ones. items. So I'm going to mention this one. For the men in your life. Yeah. There's a company that I love in Virginia. I love the look of their clothes for men. It's called Leadberry. 
Uh, L-E-D-B-U-R-Y. Yes, I've seen that um, stuff. They are pricey, but they're, I think, classic and just gorgeous. Yeah. So, um, the men's shirts, I'm going to give the price point so you don't have a heart attack if you go. Right. If you decide if you want to go to the site or not. The crisp, nice-looking shirts are like 185 Okay. And then for like a sport coat, we're talking like six twenty five. Mm, hello. But they are like classic, gorgeous, like think um, you know, of a piece you're gonna wear a lot. Yeah. So I just wanted to mention that if I had a man I was shopping for and that was I was able to hit that price point, I think it's you would do that. gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> Love Isn't it. That berry? No. Well, you go again because you have a few more items on your list, so I okay. want you to make sure and get all your precious ideas in. Well, there's a store called the Mast General Store. Heck yes. We love. We love it. There's a Knoxville location is the one we've been in the most. Yes. Um, they have a hand warmer mug that I love. I've held it. I've not actually ever held it with hot liquid in it. Yeah. But your hand actually like fits in it. You're, so yeah. It's like pottery goes, looking. Yeah. And your hand goes away in it. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. But it like keeps your hand nice and warm. Yeah. Um, it's pottery looking. And so they have different colors. Yeah. Um, but they're all kind of traditional pottery looking colors. Yeah. And um, again, I'm only mentioning things you can buy online, right. so you can buy this online. Another thing I think is so cute, you pick lefty or righty, See? like depending on. People are so smart. I know. I love it. So it's 20 bucks. And is that all? For, oh, my god! And I just think it's adorable. Um, but I also wanted to even just plug Mast General Store because I think it's a great store. When I was in Knoxville last weekend, my friends, we probably spent, I'm not even kidding, an hour and a half in this store. It's because it's so big. Upstairs, downstairs, and full of good stuff. We were looking for Christmas gifts okay. and we were on no time schedule. So we were full on moseying around and they've yeah. got tons of good outdoorsy clothes and yeah. shoes and they carry Yeti products. They that carry I Yeti. Earlier. They carry real good socks. Um, they they're, have a lot of great food products. They're going to make an appearance in my stocking stuffers list oh, that I'm going to jump into later. Stuffers oh yeah. List. <laughs> I did not do that. Yeah. Um, they have great knives for men, yeah. you know, which can be a nice gift for a young man. Yeah. It's even heirloom that's passed on for generations. Yeah. Lots of great things. If I was masks. told you only get to buy your Christmas gifts from one store. This That's is where you're store going. I would go. I mean, it's great for all ages, yep. all people. You can cover it all. Yep. Good yep. pick. I oh, love and it. I was going to say where they have locations. Oh, yeah. Where? They have locations in Knoxville, Tennessee, Greenville and Columbia, South Carolina, Boone, Waynesville, Hendersonville, Asheville, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Yeah. Maybe more, but yeah. I know North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee all have stores or online, like I said. Yeah. They've got a great, like, throwback candy section. Yeah. You know, I mean, it really does feel like a general store. And you could even it. put a gift together of little food items. Oh, I they know. have all kinds of good food items. They have the glass bottle of Coke with peanuts already wrapped up. So cute. That I saw for sale there. Such good ideas. Fun pick. Love wow. it. Um, if you are looking for something to do, I'm going to mention Amy Grant's Christmas <gasps> as a gift because she does it leading up to Christmas. Now she's that doing will get you in the spirit. She's doing most of her run here in Nashville at the Ryman. But she does some other dates with Michael W. Smith. So okay. it's Amy Grant and Michael W. Smith's Christmas tour. Like she's up in Indianapolis in early December. So I'm mentioning this because it's not just Nashville. It's not a ton of dates. Um but it would be a really fun Christmas gift to give to somebody for an event to I do. I think events are great gifts. With someone. So. And those two will get you in the Christmas spirit like oh, no man. other. And Michael I've W. Never Smith. Seen it. I've never seen her. I've never. I've, I've s- not seen her. I've seen, I've seen Michael's Michael W. Christmas. Yes. And I mean, the man just carries Christmas joy. He does. Like no other. And it does. It's, so. Yeah. It's like a modern a day nutcracker. Idea. It should just be like a staple on everyone. Well, he just reminds me the way he like walks around the stage and like jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like if you if you're in a bad mood and you have 
you know, an opportunity to go to that, it's going to turn Christmas around <laughs> because it's like he has eye contact with all different parts of the stage. He'll bring a grandkid out. It's just yeah. adorable. So, yeah. well, you can, good. You pick. can find tickets um, through Amy Grant's website. So cute. Um, okay, so one thing I had on my list is actually. Something you tore out. It had oh. your handwriting on it. But oh. I put it on my list. Okay. So it was this casserole transport. Oh my gosh! I was looking for my tear out of that. I was like, you I left it here. Or something. Okay. Well, you get to claim it. So, well, I'm giving you all the credit, but it is adorable, and it was only twenty dollars, and it's um, a perfect gift for somebody who takes. Yes. Casseroles or things. A true Southerner that takes sympathy their, meals. To and, their church. Yes. Um, participates potlucks. in potlucks. Um, it, I found it on thegromit.com. Okay. G-R-O-M-M-E-T.com. Okay. And I wanted to mention that that site actually has tons of cute gift ideas. And you can search either by price point. Right. Like, you know, whatever the price point. Or by, they have it divided like him, her, teens, Kids, host. Oh, like love you it. can literally go to the person or the price point. They're southern. They get it. Is that not beautiful? They get it. So, um, anyway, the casserole transport is a really cute idea. That's awesome. Well, I'm saying that's awesome. It was my idea. You're the one who that's found an it. awesome <laughs> idea. Um, okay, I mentioned books, but I also want to mention the gift that keeps on giving a magazine subscription. Beautiful. It's a great gift. Do you have that down I too? I did. I put Southern Living Magazine if somebody doesn't already get it. That's your go to. If you're not getting Southern Living and anyone in your life likes Southern things, then they need to be getting Southern Living, hands down. But there's some but there's other, other ones. ones. Pioneer yeah. Woman. Yeah. She has she her has own magazine. Um, there's a magazine called Southbound that I just found. It okay. looks really good. There's one called Travel South that looks really good. And then there's really specific ones if you're in Cast the, Iron Cooking. Cast Iron Cooking. <laughs> Alabama has a magazine. Charleston City Magazine's been around since like 1975. So South. Yeah, South Magazine out of Savannah, Georgia. And, Ooh, that's um, a fun one. Yeah. It's very cool. So, that's a great idea. And, and it does. You, you smile every time you get the mail and there's a fun magazine yes, in there. Yes, absolutely. Good pick. Okay. Um, another one I wanted to mention. Um, I'm an art lover. Most people know that if yes, they know me. you are. There is an artist named Elizabeth Foster who Aww. is a Nashvilleian yes. who I've had the opportunity to meet through a mutual friend. She um, has her art, her original painting. She's a painter. She has her original paintings in art galleries in Nashville, Tennessee, Charleston, South Carolina, and Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay. So if you think you might be in the market for a painting after looking at her website, you got to go there. You yes. can't buy those. Yes. On Etsy. Right. Yeah. But if you're looking for a gift that's between $15 and $95, you can buy it off her Etsy store. Yeah. She has journals. She has, you know, prints, like lots of different things. Yeah. But she has a very unique, um, she does. Whimsical yes. is what I would call it. Painting Look, style. She looks like she could be a children's book author. Absolutely. Yeah. And she's doing a lot of um, original designs for the Hester and Cook. A yes. lot of placemats for yes. them that are really cute. So it's ElizabethFosterArt.com. Yeah. And then from that link, you can see where these art galleries are or go to her Etsy store. So I just wanted to mention her stuff because I just love, love it. it. That's awesome. Well, if you are a sports-loving Southerner as you should be, (laughs) Um, and you go to games, the woman in your life may have encountered the fact that she can't bring her big old handbag in anymore. Oh my gosh, this is right. It's So I would suggest a great gift, if they don't already have one, would be a clear bag. Even the cute, especially cute one, one with your favorite sports team yeah. on it, and you can buy those at a lot of sports stores. That's a great um, idea. But yeah, I would love. I need a clear bag because That's I've gotten idea. busted for my clutch. <laughs> it's my tiny. Little, you, I mean, it's still, basically, you can't bring. Base, you know, basically, they've made it. You cannot bring a person mm-hmm. unless it's clear. So. Yeah, if you did, you find a site for that, or just um, no? I just kind of in general, general. I've seen them around, but I'm sure every sports store now has them. They should if they don't. That's a great because that's the rule. So I love that. 
Um, okay, I came across a really cool company, but a specific gift that stood out to me. Okay, so this is out of Georgia, mm-hmm. and it's called Sea Island Forge. Oh, okay. Um, we all know men like to play with fire, or yes. a lot of men like to play with fire. Yes. Well, this is like a heavy duty. These are literally iron forged products. Oh. Like they're literally, okay. You know, making them. There. Okay. Um, this is products that are going to last for generations. I mean, nice. if you want something to pass down, this could be an air- go to family heirloom. Sea Island Forge. Dot com. Anyhow, they have lots of expensive, you know, fire pits that are literally iron forged. Yeah. But they have these, um, it's a set, it's four roasting forks. Oh. So it's like you could roast hot dogs or make, you know, marshmallows or something on a fire. But one of the things I loved about it is the four roasting forks all come in this leather quiver. So it almost looks like like your arrows, right? Yeah. I just think it's super cool. It was $70 because they are hand forged. Where is Sea Island? Did you look that up? I didn't. I just know it's in Georgia. Okay. Oh, you said Georgia. Yeah. I just know it's Georgia. I'm not sure exactly um, where in Georgia, but I just thought, you know, if you've got a man that um, might want some kind of heavy duty thing, he can play around with in the fire. They also have like, um, well, all different kinds of things, but I wanted to mention the roasting forks and the leather quiver because I thought it was super cool. So it's near St. Simon's. Okay. How cool. Cool. That's a fun idea. Isn't that a fun one? It's one that would totally work all season. Like that's winter season. And I'm saying dudes, like I think this would be a fun gift to get. You know, I just was also trying to kind of think of different people styles what yeah. do they like and yeah it looked like something manly men would have fun with <laughs> it's just so great <laughs> um well i'm down to my stocking stuffers so okay you finish i've out got your a couple more things before here before i jump in uh just a couple more though okay so here again a tennessee company at springfield tennessee is the hinkle chair company hinkle uh-huh okay i don't know them h-i-n-k-l-e and they make beautiful rocking chairs for your porch. Mm. I mean, every Southerner that has oh a porch, gosh. which we don't. I want a front porch so bad. Yeah. <laughs> but if you have a porch, you need some good rockers. You do. These have different styles, different colors, but they're very classic. Yeah. And um, well-made. Yeah. So um, they also have benches, gliders, swings, um, but all, you know, well-made wood product. Again, something you could even pass on. That would be so fun to open your front door on Christmas and with have a big two red rockers bows. with red bows on it. Yes. I mean, really, that, that would be just so, so. I wanted to mention with your coffee mug that your hand that fits your hand right fits into. In. I, I mean, I'm fixing you up. <laughs> <laughs> so the Hinkle Chair Company. If you need good rockers, love it. Um, and then a couple others. Um, I told you some of mine are close to home because. I just happen to know about things that are close to well, home. sure. That's how we find stuff. Um, White's Mercantile. Yes. I had no idea they now have stores in Nashville, Franklin, uh, Wilson, Arkansas, Charleston, South Carolina, Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah. They're coming soon to Green Hills in Nashville, New Orleans, and even Malibu, California. I saw them on their Instagram when they were setting up the Malibu store. Oh, they word. were like out scouting locations. Yeah, well, they're going for it. They're going and for they're it. And they're an awesome store. I just don't even have anything in particular on the list. I just wanted to say, hey, this is a lot of Locations. southern states. Yeah. And if you don't know what to get, that might be a place to go if there's one in your town. Well, we have a lot of California we listeners. So we do. y'all look up White's Mercantile and Malibu makes a trek. Coming soon. Because it's like a premium general store and it has stuff for women men and kids yeah babies i mean tons of cute stuff so i wanted to mention that also good old texas company hey you know james avery oh yeah i didn't know they were texan they are texan and i just love some of the charms that they have available if there's somebody that so you know that has a charm bracelet or likes charms they have, you know, all of the 50 states. Love they it. They mention, you know, they show some of the different ones in their catalog that are Southern. But because they're Texas, Texas even gets an extra. Of course. They have one that's this, the shape of Texas oh, with the, the heart, heart cut out. 
They have um, bracelets that say, you know, Texas strong. They have rings that are Texas. I love it. They even have a little charm that says y'all. That's that I think cute. Is cute. With the so, rope. Love it. I just wanted to mention that if there's a James southern Avery. Bit, um, People that love, that wear James Avery love James Avery. So yeah. the, a charm is a great yeah, addition for somebody. Fun, fun little thing to mention. Um, and then this is kind of overlapping into, if you were mentioning stocking stuffers, yes. um, we'll kind of tie this together, um, or hostess gifts. Yes. The Loveless mm. here in Nashville also has a website. So again, I'm only mentioning things that nice. you can get on websites. Um, the Loveless has some, you know, gift sets already put together that are Southern foods. Yes. So be that a biscuit theme or a, nice. um, you know, ham, different kinds of things. Um, hams but they, and jams. Hams, jams, all that good stuff. But they also have these adorable tea towels that are just $9. Oh, wow. And they have sayings on them like, you are the bacon to my eggs, or I love you like biscuits and gravy. That's so <laughs> like cute. Different things like that. Nine bucks. Um, so I just wanted to mention the lovely It's a great host gift. It really is. And they're so cute. And they even have the coffee mugs that say the same thing. Okay. So I was you thinking if you wanted more than a $9 gift. Right. And you wanted to bump it to a 20 Yeah. Get the coffee mug and. I love it. Tea towel. Well, we have a tradition in our household that our stockings always have three candy canes <laughs> hanging on them. We don't them. even know where it started. I don't know where it started, but I just mentioned it to mention traditions are just awesome. They are. So I look forward to those three candy canes oh. hanging on my stocking each year. Now, Mom, as we've mentioned before, she came from um, more... Humble, Small, more <laughs> humble means, and so an orange was out mm-hmm. in their stocking was a big deal. Yeah, um, so I feel silly sometimes even being like, "Now here's the stocking stuffer right. list." When right. I think about what mom came from, but hard, hard candy, like the hard candy Christmas that Dolly Parton mentions, is no. I mean, that's it's. Mom's from the same area. Exactly. It's you kind were of excited a not fun to have song some... when it comes on the Christmas. Mix. I know, but just thinking about that exactly. was a big deal. So we're grateful that we have more than an orange to put in each year. And if that's you as well, I would recommend um, Palmetto Farm Stone Ground Grits. Mm-hmm. Hey oh, mm-hmm. you can find those at Mass General mm-hmm. Store, um, and they will ship. Um, Southern Socks. Is a company oh. out of Kentucky. Mm-hmm. I've mentioned them on here before. They've got these all kinds of cute little socks. Some of them say y'all. Some of them have like state flags or Horses horse riding. Or bourbon. Yeah. Little cute Really things. cute socks. Southern cute. socks. Um, we mentioned the Mass General Store. You could get all kinds of canned goods from <laughs> Knock them. Knock it all out you right there. You could get jams, jellies, chow chow. You could get... Um, chow chow. I know. Chow chow would be a great... Absolutely. Um, stocking stuffer. There is a company out of Fort Mill, South Carolina called Ravens Originals, and their mulling spices are sold at Mast okay. and all sorts of stores. You've okay. probably seen them. They're in gold packaging, okay. and they have great mulling spices. But they've got party spice mixes, you know, like a garden vegetable mix that you can oh, make yeah, into yeah. it. Quickly like a make dip. a ball, yeah. a cheese ball or something. Homestead Finds is a company out of Birmingham. They make great chutneys. They mm. are just... You know, definitely a good stocking stuffer. Um, and then I guess I would finish out my list with poopery <laughs> before you go toilet spray. Because especially if you're going to be having, if you're the host, I think this needs to be in your stocking if your family's staying all week. That is so cute. Right? And I just saw that Costco had like a, you know, anything if it's from Costco. It's like, like 10 of them. <laughs> but they had a poopery set. I didn't actually see it in the store. I saw it in their little magazine but i was thinking sometimes things like that are good to get and then you break you it, up. it up like that all the stockings exactly. have the poopery yeah they're a arkansas company so that anyway, is cute well i think these were great ideas and we kind of went all over the place we did like, but that's what you have to do with gifts these days because everybody's got different budgets and different people they're buying for so yeah but i love trying to stay kind of regional just, Absolutely. You know, it's yeah. fun to yeah. try and support the, Hold on to the, the local the south. Yes. That's right. How All right, exciting. y'all. It's Hopefully. almost shopping season. I hope season. that got you in the Christmas spirit. We're going to continue to do so. Of course, we're going to have um, some fun episodes coming up around Thanksgiving and 
just even more Christmas in a one topics. year anniversary soon. One year <laughs> podcasting. <laughs> Um, but yeah, thanks again for your support. We love hearing from you guys. Follow us on Instagram if you haven't done so already, and we will see you here next time. And write us a review if you haven't done that, because that's super helpful as well. We really appreciate it. One, two, three, four, five stars. Thanks guys. See y'all.